Hi guys, Razor Mods here, and um, today I went out and bought a Linksys Ruler. Um, this is a WRT 300N wireless end router. Um, I mainly bought it because uh, I was hoping to improve my wireless signal. Um, but basically, I couldn't get my HTC Desire running Android 2.2 to connect to it. That would um, just say obtain an IP address and that just gets stuck in a loop and just keep doing it over and over and over. Um, so I searched the internet, various different forums, spent a couple of hours um, looking for solutions and uh, couldn't really find anything of any relevance. Um, I did find many, many, many of people having the same problem but I, I, I just couldn't find a solution, a fix to the problem. So um, I set about looking around the, the web-based configuration for the Linksys router by myself. And um, after a, about half an hour of playing in the configuration software, I finally found a solution that works for me, and I can now connect my HTC Desire Android 2.2 to the Linksys router. And um, I'm, I'll show you how to do it. Right then guys, before I actually um, go into the, the Linksys router, I'm just going to quickly show you um, that's not going to connect. Uh, this is my Linksys now. As you can see, Wi-Fi connected and authenticating with Linksys. Obtain an IP address from Linksys. Now this is just going to sit there for quite a while before it eventually says connecting and then obtain an IP address from Linksys again and that's just going to get stuck into a loop you know I mean even by, by now that should have obtained an IP address so um you know we, we can fully assume that that's not working there you go look like disconnected scanning connecting obtaining an IP address from Linksys that's just going to do that over and over again as you know that's why you're watching the video anyway yeah uh, so uh, now we'll get on to them um, the steps on how to fix it and uh, believe me this is only going to take literally probably about 30 seconds right then what we need to do now is head over to the Linksys configuration page in our web browser um, if you don't know how to hit the, the web based configuration up you just literally go to 192.168.1.1 and then hit enter and you might be asked to type in a username and password for your router which um, I wouldn't know <laughs> but you obviously should um, anyway yeah uh, once we got into the the wild configuration page we on this the starting page the setup and basic setup um, if we go into the DHCP server yeah, uh, as you can see mine's enabled. Now what we need to do is click the DHCP reservation thingy. Oh, there you go, look, there's my login thingy. I've got you know no username but I've obviously changed the default password. Anyway, once we get into here, as you can see at the top there, I've um, got my PC and in the bottom here I've got nothing. This is clients already reserved. So um what we need to do now is head over to the phone right now while we're still in the in the network settings for the phone uh, we need to press menu and then we need to go to advanced which is at the bottom right there uh, the video is a little bit bright you can't really see it Anyway, we need to click Advanced, and then we need the MAC address. And this is the physical network address of the actual phone. Now, we need to take a note of that MAC address, go back to the, go back to the, um, the router condition page, and start setting things up. Right now, once we're back to the router configuration page, at the bottom here where it says manually adding client, 
we need to type the MAC address into there, which I've already done earlier. If I copied and pasted it, or cut and pasted. Uh, there's my MAC address for my phone. Right now we need to give our phone an IP address. Uh, I'm gonna. Uh, I've got my computer as uh, 192.168.1.200. So I'm going to have the next number along from that, which is 192.168.1.201. Alright, and then we just need to give our client, which is the name. So I'm just going to simply call mine first. Alright, then all we need to do is click the Add button. And uh, just wait for the, the page to reload. Now, the client's already reserved. We've got our phone. The IP address we want the router to give our phone and the actual physical network address, the MAC address of the phone itself. So if we now head over back to the phone and um, we'll see we'll connect. Right then guys, once we're back to our phone, um, we need to press back and then if we click our Linksys and try and connect, we'll see what happens. And as you can see, we're now connected to Linksys Rira, which we couldn't connect to before. So um, if you find this video helpful, uh, if this solution works for you, please do like the video. If you need any extra help or information, then um, please feel free to comment. If you found the video informative, then please, please do subscribe.